In today's video, we're going to be talking about pros and cons of financial YouTubers. Andre Zik has one of the best financial channels on YouTube. He makes great content, especially incorporating it with magic. It's always on point. It's crystal clear. The sound quality is perfect. The guy speaks facts. He speaks the truth when he's talking about finance. It's, it's amazing the way he does the card tricks and everything. He shows his viewers his actual accounts. He talks about credit cards. He has a lot of passion. He talks about his childhood and how he loved Pokemon, Harry Potter, and he incorporates all of his stuff with magic. He has great dividend skills. He researches. He shows his viewers exactly what they need to understand and it's so educational. He does have cons. He sometimes undervalues his potential, his true potential. And sometimes you see it in some of his videos, but I think it's mostly joking. But he doesn't speak about debt, and that's a big no-no when you have a financial channel. He doesn't have real estate, but that's cool. It doesn't matter. As long as you're talking about things you know and you move forward, it's great. Next up is Graham Stephan. This guy also, just like Andre Zik, he does make great videos. Graham Stephan is not afraid to show how frugal he is. He made his money by real estate investments. It's not common to see a 30-year-old millionaire, but this guy became a millionaire by 30. He surprised people, like famous people like Kevin O'Leary, the shark guy. This guy has great marketing skills. His videos are real educational. Cons. He does get annoying with the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. That just gets annoying. It's more for his marketing skills. He's real smart. And that's why you notice in his videos, he has a lot of ad sense to it. You know, like ads, revenues, and whatever. That's how he makes his money. So the more you like, the better. His wealth approach is old school. That's that's kind of like, he's like the Warren Buffett. His, 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 his strategy on making wealth is kind of boring. But, you know, it's, it's what it is. He's not too transparent with his wealth. The guy says he's got like $6 million, $3 million, $2 million, but he's frugal. And then, it, you know, once you get to a certain part of your life where you reach a million dollars, everything changes, you know? Next YouTuber we're going to talk about is Tommy Bryson. He's a truly ambitious YouTuber. He has great content. He is very informative with all his stuff. He makes a lot of wealth videos. Uh, a lot of health videos, you know, mental health. He he talks a lot about financial books and relates to a lot of past heroes that he has, such as Peter Lynch and stuff like that. Tommy Bryson is one of the guys that's still ambitious because he hasn't reached his pinnacle yet. He's still trying to get there, you know, and he talks a lot about his personal life becoming the first millionaire in his family he's still passionate he still has that drive the youngest guy on the list cons there's nothing wrong with this kid he's has a lot to go and i've learned a lot from him myself i actually started a business because of him because of his llc videos this guy goes in depth and he's one of my favorite guys so i gotta show favoritism to him because hands down tommy bryson 100 percent legit Follow this kid. Go out there, support his channel, and give him a lot of views on his videos because this guy goes hard. He goes in every day. Pure hustler. Dave Ramsey. Greatest, greatest of all time. He has 30 years in finance. This guy has a proven debt system. He is on top of his game. He's His story is so successful that this man's been around. He has his own podcast. He has his own radio station before YouTube even existed. He has books, bestsellers on wealth. He has a total money makeover. He has other stuff. I'm not here to advertise him, but he talks hard truth. This man is hard truth. He's not afraid to call you stupid. If you can't save money, you're stupid. He practices what he preaches. He's a real estate investor. This guy will tell you how to retire a millionaire in his sleep because this guy is amazing with what he says, what he does. He has a lot, of, a lot of people and he's out of Nashville. But when it comes to cons, there is none. This guy is top of the line, the greatest. Last but not least is the greatest of all time and my personal favorite who I've been listening to for the past seven years, who's never let me down once because he's the greatest marketer online your boy my favorite ty lopez psych man 
man. <laughs> Ty Lopez, he's a great online marketer. The guy is very good at what he does. Manipulation is his biggest thing and people fall for it because I don't know how you can mix the two. You could put a Lamborghini, a garage, a bookshelf, and a guy drinking tea and telling you that knowledge is power. I do agree with him that knowledge is power. That's the only two pros that this guy has because he's full of it and he's just, he's, he's not good. This guy is disgusting. This guy, what he does is just the biggest con there is. He lies about his wealth. He's the online Ponzi scheme artist. This guy gets top of the line Ponzi scheme artist of the year. He shows the wrong way of wealth. This is a guy you want to stay far away from. People like him, people like gurus. There's a lot more out there. I wish I could speak about all of them. Waste of time. The first four YouTubers that I showed you are above and beyond and they will help you succeed. This guy right here will bring you down and he's just keeping up with the Joneses kind of guy. So let's stay away from people like Ty. This video is basically my opinion on these YouTubers. If you have a different opinion and you would like to drop a comment, leave it in the box below. Like and subscribe to the video if you enjoyed this. If you want to see more content like this, just let me know. And maybe I can do some on your favorite YouTubers or other channels that I could check out and review. Thank you for watching. Until next time.